Hello YouTubers, this is Shem2409 and in this video I want to show you how to update your Sony Xperia Z to the newest .257 firmware and also how to gain root on the newest firmware. This is not as straightforward as in the past with the .534 firmware where you could just do a couple of clicks and have your phone rooted. The developers have not actually found a root exploit yet so as of now we need to downgrade first to the .534 firmware to actually be able to root the newest one and you'll need to download quite a few files to act to be able to do to complete the root process all the links will be in the description of the video so make sure you download every single file I'll of course guide you through the procedure so just follow the video and don't omit any steps so first thing you need to do is be on the .534 firmware to be able to root the phone so if you are on the newest firmware what you'll need to do is go to your computer then to C drive and flash tool and then go to firmwares and you'll need to place the .534 firmware in the firmwares so that you can flash it to your phone to flash it to your phone you'll need to press on the on the lightning bolt and then select flash mode and click OK and then flash the firmware wiping everything in your phone so if you want to keep the data on your phone make sure you have them safely stored with an app like titanium backup because you will lose all your data you can try doing it without wiping the data by excluding it here but uh, it might not work properly so it is recommended to do a full wipe before uh, attempting to root the newest firmware so once you click on flash just open the USB port flap uh, switch off your phone and connect the USB cable whilst holding the volume down button on your phone this should connect it in flash mode and the uh, firmware, firmware flashing should automatically start. So before going any further, I've prepared a checklist for you. So to be able to root the newest firmware on the Sony Xperia Z1, you need to first be rooted. So if you're not yet, just follow my video. Then you need to install the newest dual recovery. And there is a link in the video description for that. You need to back up all your data using titanium backup or any other app that backs up the data if you have any that you want to keep because this procedure will wipe all data and app data on your phone then perform a full non-droid backup in recovery so by going into recovery basically do a backup there and it will back up your whole system so you can always return to your the previous state once you've done that, download the .257 firmware in the FTF format, which is the official Sony firmware, uh, as we'll need some files from there. And also download the pre-rooted firmware from Krabappel from this uh, XDA developer's website. And the link, of course, is in the video description. So just download the Diodex Tweak 2. Uh, 257 stock ROM for clockwork mod and touchwork recovery and once you've done all of that also download the super SU and busybox update zip as we'll need it as well so once you've done all that we're ready to uh, get started on rooting the newest firmware on our Sony Xperia Z1 so first of all connect your phone to the computer and make sure you transfer the, the files required so you'll need to transfer the super su and busybox zip as well as the z1 uh, diodex rom that we have downloaded so copy that as well and also if you're on c6902 version of your phone transfer that to the phone storage as well as we'll need to uh, flash that in recovery now that you have all files on your phone, just disconnect it from the computer and press the power button to turn, switch it off. Now power the phone on and whilst it vibrates, press the volume up key to get into the recovery. Okay, so I press the volume up 
and as you can see that takes me to the clockwork mod based recovery so now I'm ready to wipe data and factory reset my phone also I'm gonna wipe the cache partition so I'll wipe that now after that is done I'm gonna go into install zip and I'm gonna install zip from SD card so mine is zero here so as you can see I found the the ROM that I'm so interested in so it is the Z1 14.1 uh, G.2257 file so I'm just gonna press the power button once I navigated there and now I'm gonna install the file okay so once the installation has completed you need to install another zip from your SD card if you are on the C6902 version of the phone make sure you flash the, f the, the fix right after flashing the ROM zip in recovery so uh, do that before even flashing the super SU in busybox so there is an additional step you'll need to take if you have the C6902 version of the phone so just uh, go to choose zip from SD card again by pressing the power button and then to zero and select the super SU busybox update so I select that and just flash it to your phone so I'm just gonna install it, okay. So as you can see, that has finished installing. So I'm gonna go into reboot system now. And whilst it's switching on, I'm gonna press the power button and the volume up key for three seconds until it vibrates three times. And now I'll go into flash tool on my computer and I already have the newest firmware uh, FTF in the firmwares in the flash in the C slash flash tool so I'm gonna go into flash mode and select the 14.1 G257 generic firmware and I'm not gonna wipe any data here I'm gonna exclude everything except the, the kernel and the baseband so I'm gonna photo TA partition bundle. And this is a very important step as if you if you don't do that your system will not work properly. So you need to exclude everything except the kernel and base band. So once this is done, you can connect your phone to the computer by holding down the volume down key and connecting the USB cable so then just press flash and connect your phone by holding the volume down key and connecting the power USB cable okay and the flashing has started automatically oh. okay and the flashing is finished so now you can power on your phone and you should have the newest firmware running so the first boot might take a little longer than usual as we've just installed new firmware but uh, it should uh, boot up successfully so we'll just wait for that to finish and we should have our phone on the newest firmware so I've completed the procedure without actually wiping any data on my phone so you can go into and as you can see it runs just fine if I go into settings and about phone I as you can see I'm running the newest film firmware so it's the 14.1 G2257 and also if I check the super user app if the root is running fine uh, or actually I'll check the root checker which I have installed so it's just here and I'll verify the root access let's just see and as you can see the super user request pops up and that means that the, the phone is rooted properly so there you go 
So as you could see in the video, this uh, the, the routing procedure is not easy. You need to downgrade before being able to actually get the root access on the newest firmware. And it is recommended to wipe the, to do a full wipe before uh, doing this flash. But as you can see, it works without it. I still haven't actually uh, checked all apps on the phone to see if everything works properly. But uh, some users reported that if uh, if it wasn't flashed properly, the camera will not work as it should. So, uh, okay, as you can see, if I go to my camera, I don't get any errors and everything works as it should. So that means the routing procedure and uh, was performed successfully and I am on the newest firmware. So if you've liked the video, please hit the like button below and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Sony Xperia Z1 videos coming soon. Thanks for watching and if you have more questions, please check my, my most commonly asked questions video first before, uh, writing a com uh, before commenting on the video with any questions. And if you still have some, then feel free to ask. I'm always happy to, to help. Thank you and all. See you soon.